Welcome Protege. In this video we'll be showing you how to make a type A USB to 5 pin DIN power cable for use with a 5 volt battery. We're using a 9000 milliamp hour battery with a 5 volt DC 2.1 amp output made by Jackery. It is waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof making it the perfect solution to power your fuel can outdoors. The cable consists of 22 gauge two conductor wire that is one meter in length. It has a type A USB mail plug on one side and a five pin DIN mail plug on the other. To build this cable you'll need crimpers, wire strippers, a razor blade, a Phillips head screwdriver, cutters, a soldering iron, solder, liquid flux, and the USB to five pin DIN cable kit. The kit consists of one type A USB mail plug, one 5 pin DIN mail plug, one meter long 22 gauge wire, and one piece of heat shrink tubing with an adhesive inner lining. We'll begin by unscrewing the set screw on the 5 pin DIN connector. Remove the inside assembly that contains the mail pins. Strip 3 8 inch of insulation off one side of the cable with the razor blade, but be careful not to go too deep or you'll cut the inner conductor wire which could cause shorts. Next, use the wire strippers to strip off about a tenth of an inch of the insulation from the red and black conductor wires. Apply liquid flux to the ends of the stripped wire and add a small amount of solder. This is called tinning the wires. Orient the 5 pin DIN connector as shown and insert the red and black wire into the solder cups. This part can be a little tricky but try to insert both wires in at the same time. Add another small amount of solder to secure both wires into place and make sure they are secure by giving the connector and wire a small tug. Use the crimpers to fold the metal tabs over on the opposite end of the male pins. You can also use a pair of pliers for this step. Insert the outer housing on the opposite end of the cable and insert the male pin assembly. Line up the screw holes and screw in the set screw. The 5 pin DIN connector is complete so we'll move on to the USB connector. Start by stripping off 3 8 inch of insulation with a razor blade. Use the wire strippers to strip off about a tenth of an inch of the insulation. Apply a small amount of liquid flux and add a small amount of solder. Take the USB connector and orient the male plug as shown. The red and black wires will be soldered on the opposite ends with the black wire soldered to pin 4 and the red wire soldered to pin 1. Slightly pull on the cable to make sure that the wires are soldered securely to the connector. Add the USB back shell to the USB mail plug to complete the assembly. The tabs of the back shell should go inside of the tabs of the USB mail plug as shown. Fold over the metal tabs with the tip of the crimpers and crimp the tabs with the 3.6 millimeter insulation slot. Slide the piece of heat shrink tubing over the USB mail plug and line up the end of the heat shrink where the back shell meets the USB mail plug. Use a heat gun and slowly shrink the tubing making sure that the heat shrink does not move. Once the heat shrink has cooled down perform a continuity check with a voltmeter to make sure that there are no shorts between power and ground. Insert the type A USB mail plug into the battery and the 5 pin DIN mail plug into the fuel can. Your fuel can is now battery powered.